meatless meals can still be full of flavor. Callie Blunt came up with a new taco recipe for her blog, Love Cooks, and it looks delicious. So what are we making today? Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. We are making Korean cauliflower tacos mm -hmm. with a creamy Napa cabbage slaw. Ah. It's so simple. And you, you guys, for you kids who may or may not be into vegetables, cauliflower is a great way to get them into it because cauliflower is basically a blank slate. You can make it taste however you need it to. Ah, so today good. we're using a very special ingredient. It's mm -hmm. called gochujang. Say that again. Go <laughs> We were practicing earlier. Gochujang. It's a Korean spice paste, a chili paste, but you can also substitute this with buffalo sauce or hot sauce. Whatever you have on hand works too. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and make our um, dressing to toss the cauliflower in. Mm -hmm. So Leon, if you want to get whisking, we have our gochujang in here. Okay. And then we also are going to be adding some soy sauce, which are great Asian flavors, some minced um, ginger. I'm just going to use my finger for that. We're just going to go for it. Then we have some sliced garlic. Okay. And and then some sesame oil. Sesame oil is an amazing ingredient. It can make a lot of things have that little nice richness that you're yeah. looking for. So we're going to toss all these things together and then we're going to coat our cauliflower <laughs> with this mixture. Okay. And then after we coat it, we're going to toss it together, put it in the oven at 400 for 20 minutes, roast it up, yeah. and then there, there you go. And there is our like Korean that. cauliflower. Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so simple, right. so easy to do. So that's so. step one of the tacos. And then step two is going to be our creamy Napa cabbage slaw. Okay. So what we're going to do for this is we're going to add some jalapeno and some carrots. And I'm going to get you to help me. Leland's so good in the kitchen. I love it. <laughs> and then if you can start whisking the dressing, this is mayonnaise, a mayonnaise okay. base. And then we're going to add in our other super fun Korean flavors. So we have some garlic powder or onion powder, whichever one you want. We also have rice vinegar. We added hot sauce to this dressing. So you can do gochujang or hot sauce. We have a little bit of honey that may be stuck okay. in there. I don't know if it's going to come out on my tea. We'll just pretend so like it is. So we get it all like we, we want. And what are the other there, two quick items? Toss it together. We have rice vinegar and we also have a little bit of salt. Okay. So you're going to toss all that together. So you have your cauliflower done as your base for your taco. Tastes delicious. You have your creamy Napa cabbage slaw and then there you go. Fill it up in the taco shell. You can serve it with some lime, squeeze some lime juice on top and you're ready to go. There it is right yes, there. Oh, doesn't that look good? Green you can find the recipe tacos. for the tacos and the coleslaw online at newschannel5.com and on Callie's blog love-cooks.com. As always, thank, thank you for you being so much, with us. Leland. How great this is that? So much fun. I love it. Up next on